Hey friends, thanks for coming back to hang out with me. Today I am going to start to attempt to grow some sweet potato slips. I actually already started over there is my grow station and I've already started one style of starting sweet potato slips, but you might see chickens in the corner of that window. They're free ranging right now. They're being naughty. They're not supposed to be on my patio, but sometimes they come up there. So I have already started just the traditional method where you put Q-tips around um, a sweet potato and you put it in a jar of water and just let that grow. Um, but I was reading that that can take two weeks to two months to start. And so I was looking at some other options and a, uh, someone I had found on Google, um, I'll link his article below, had mentioned that he has had really, really good success when he uses soil to start his sweet potato slips. So what I'm gonna do is try his method. So I just went out to my raised beds and I got some soil that was in the raised beds. Um, he had mentioned in the article that it doesn't have to be like seed starting mix, like sterile soil. It's actually good to have some organic material um, for the potatoes to feed on. So what I have here is, this is just a salad spring mix that I got at Costco and I poked some holes in the bottom for some drainage. And I'm going to put half the soil in here. So I'm gonna have two containers here that I'm gonna plant these potatoes in. So those are about even. So what I read was you wanna you want plant the potato halfway into the soil. So I want to look at my potatoes. He mentioned two looking and making sure there's no big spots or anything on the potato, damaged spots or anything. This one looks good. I'm gonna see if I can get two potatoes in each one of these. I might not be able to. So the reason I'm doing this is because sweet potato slips are kind of pricey. When I have looked online, they can range anywhere from $30 for 15 slips to about $20 for 15 slips. And I didn't grow sweet potatoes last year and I love sweet potatoes and I really want to grow them this year. Um, and I figured if I could grow the slips myself, I could save myself some money. Um, if, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna buy sweet potato slips because I, I definitely want to grow sweet potatoes this year. I grew like 130 pounds of regular potatoes last year and I'm struggling to eat those because I don't really like regular potatoes that well. I mean, they're fine, but I love sweet potatoes. So can you see how I have those packed about halfway down in there? And then I'm gonna do the same thing with these two. I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos. <laughs> it's definitely been um, fun to make them. It's been a good creative outlet for me. I love YouTube and um, I think it's a great platform to kind of share what people have going on in their lives. So if you're interested, um, if you wanna see, I've been posting about three videos a week. So if you wanna keep up to date with what I'm doing, um, go ahead and subscribe so you get the, the notifications uh, when I post new videos. We've got some sweet potatoes planted. I'm pretty excited about this. I have these in um, just some seedling trays so that when I water them, it doesn't um, go all over the place. And then I'm gonna water these. I think I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this water The soil is a little bit damp already because it's been raining. So I don't need to put a ton of water in there, but I'm gonna give it a little bit moisture. And there it is. So what I was reading is you can get about 12 slips per sweet potato. So we will see if that works. Since you guys are here already, I'm gonna show you the other way I have my two sweet potatoes started over there and I'm gonna go ahead and just get these started too because it doesn't hurt to have more. These are organic sweet potatoes I just bought at Costco. 
and they cost me ten dollars for two forks for six sweet potatoes so if I get 12 slips per sweet potato that's a pretty good return on my investment Ooh, I just spilled all over the place just like that so I have it about halfway up the sweet potato and then I'm going to do the same thing so what I have here is I have the sweet potato sitting in front of my wall heater. I only have cadet heaters in my house. My house was built in the 80s and so I don't have central air. And I don't have heating pads for any of my seedling starts because I haven't invested in those yet. But what I do have is a heater right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that and I'm going to set my sweet potatoes on this step stool and just let them be nice and toasty. From what I understand, the most important thing for starting sweet potato slips is that the soil is warm. And so I'm gonna let these hang out here for, um, until they sprout. Uh, when I was reading, it's about two, two weeks before they'll start to sprout. And when that happens, then I'll stick them under the grow lights and they'll get the benefit of the light, but they don't need that until they sprout. I just wanna also say a huge thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you want some real-time updates on these sweet potato slips and all the other shenanigans I have that are, that are going on around here, you can follow me on Instagram at Acre Homestead. Like today, I am about to start some new seedlings over there, and you can see that in some real time. I will do an update video on these. I will let you guys know whether the water method, the soil method works better, when they start to sprout and all of that. So stick around. And if you enjoyed this, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up or a thumbs down, or just let me know what you wanna see. I would really appreciate it. And I just wanna say a huge thank you for being here and I hope you have a great day.